hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is always will be but you can call me miracle i'm a nigerian travel vlogger who recently moved to ghana so i have been telling you guys a lot of beautiful stories about ghana guys ghanaians are so very nice i i am having a lot of fun in ghana everybody that have come in contact with except few people have been very very nice to me in as much as I have a lot of fun time or I'm having a lot of fun time in Ghana, I also had some um, not too good experience, but it's not much. This is the reason why I don't talk about it. But I want to put this video out there because um, I want to know opinions of other people because number one, that thing is very, very... Uh, what happened in this place was kind of uh, embarrassing to me and it hit me hard to the point i'll be like i will never go to this shop right that is uh, in accra or i'll never go to that place again uh, <laughs> i will not spend my money where i'll be having headaches but mind you the reason why i'm putting this out there i just want to know if truly this is how they behave or and if i'm the person that broke their law so that day do you remember that there was a video i posted about embassy garden that i went to embassy garden with mary and her brother so when we are coming from embassy garden mary and her brother said that they were hungry and we stopped at this akramo in front of akramo as we were we stopped they were looking for a place where they would eat washi and I'm like, uh, it's not okay for them to eat that kind of food. Why they've spent their time taking me out on a Sunday. And I, I'm like, okay, let's go to a, inside this mall so that you guys can have nice food. When we get there, their food are so very expensive. Their food range from um, 95 Ghana CDs to 100 Ghana CDs. So um, Mary's brother ate rice. Mary also ate rice at ate shawarma, but I'll tell you about the food later. Let's talk about what happened when we are going inside. So when we are going inside, I was filming. Like I started filming from that place you saw me till we get inside. So I was enjoying the scenery. It was a, a, a Sunday evening, a lot of maybe Saturday evening, not Sunday evening or Friday evening, but sure it was an evening and a lot of cars and beautiful like very beautiful cars we are coming in and out i was seeing a lot of um beautiful people i was very happy being there enjoying my time and uh, capturing the moment as we approach in front of the mall uh, i asked mary's brother if it is okay for me to film he said yes now nah. because we saw a lot of people with cameras not like cameras a lot of people with phone who were taking pictures and filming and we saw a lot of white people foreigners chinese people there so as i asked mary brother she it is okay for me to film he said yes and he's like we also asked somebody at the entrance they say yes so we went inside filming i was just filming uh, the inside like we are talking about like oh god this place is so beautiful why i never come here before why i never come here since so i was just saying that they film the place they go as I noticed, I can recall there's a, 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 an Asian woman standing, uh, pressing her phone. She was the person that become the, uh, the security guy to come. So as we are uh, heading in, a security guy walked up to us and asked me, uh, Ma, we don't film. Like he just not like as he said, Ma, we don't film here. It is not allowed here. I also want to remind you guys that. Other people were with their phones. Other people were filming or taking pictures. I cannot tell, but like other people, we we are sure that they were taking pictures or either filming. But what is different between me and them is that I have my phone on my tripod, like a um, vlogging tripod. Why every other person like we're normally filming? I think that is also what made them know that I'm a vlogger that i'm not just taking ordinary picture that they, the picture may go on the internet so the guy stopped me and said that i must delete the video i tried all the tricks i can like at first i started begging him i because he was calmer though he was asking me to delete the video and was insisting i should delete the video he was calm he never raised his voice at me so i was uh, trying to beg him thinking that he would just let me not uh, delete the video i begged and begged and begged he said that i must delete the video so i 
first of all delete the video if you have an iphone you know that once you delete the video the video will go and store somewhere called um deleted video like it will start there so the video went there and the guy is an iphone user the guy said no that the video is not deleted yet that i should delete it from the device entirely so i keep insisting that i don't want to delete the video i was begging the guy i said okay what is the problem now the guy said that i filmed everywhere that is not allowed in this place and uh, mary's brother was like okay but look at these people if you see there's two guys one with um uh, one with green top and like yes these guys they were filming they were um taking their picture as they stop us these two guys were taking their picture taking uh, pictures in front of us and in front of that guy the guy did not say anything the guy was just there telling me to delete the videos and um mary's brother were asking uh, was asking him why that he should give him the reason why i must delete the video he said that he don't want to explain that that only thing he knows is that before i go inside i must delete the video i begged and begged and begged then i he forced me to put password on my phone and open my uh, my a deleted video i said i open my deleted video i restored the video instead of deleting it completely from the device because so it's decided to delete and this thing no good day so as i restored the video now he was saying that okay you restore it i said the reason why i restore it is that i will put this thing in an editing app and i will split it into two i'll split the video into two um and then uh, delete the video inside the mall because he said the problem is that i filmed inside the mall i said okay i'll delete the video inside the mall and the video i took outside the mall i'll leave it and it's now change again and be like i must delete all the video that was when mary's brother got super angry and say why why okay make we go stop those people where they where they where they where they film and take pictures if you know do that would they go as he did not approach those people mary's brother draw me and see like okay let's start going as we start going, they called another security that is uh, close to where we are. And they be like, these people, they are taking pictures. That security was nicer and more understanding. And he said, which videos they say you take? I just show him. Say, he look at the videos and say, okay, no problem. Say, the thing is that some people that came to the mall don't like being captured in, in video. And he asked me if I'm a YouTuber or a TikTok. I said, I'm a YouTuber. He said, maybe that is the reason why the guy did that because... Uh, eventually my video will go up online and many people may not like to be in that kind of video i kind of understand that however the manner it wasn't okay with me and again their food was mad expensive i uh, mary took a uh, rice takeaway and her brother ate um, rice um that is 90, 90 and uh, 95 ghana uh, cities on each of the food then me i took a um, um shawarma shawarma was around the 65 ghana cities or something like or 67 ghana cities and drinks like everything would take in total was uh, around 300 ghana cities it was much and um, remember we went to embassy garden that big hotel they allowed us to film everywhere we filmed even the walkway of uh, rooms that guests were in, but nobody disturbed us. We filmed around the restaurants. We filmed even the Oibo people where they approached inside. I filmed it. Nobody disturbed us. So I was very, very not okay with the treatment I got from that place. And even as we sit down and serve, the place you no know, they vibe us again because we don't already they messed up by that first security guy. I wanted to post these sort of things, but I, sometimes I be like. But each time I, I see this video, I'll ask myself, why did they like uh, treat me like that? Was it that they did not, they don't allow people to take videos? And I'm like, if they don't allow people to take videos and pictures, they must have st stopped other people that were taking pictures and videos. But maybe because my own camera was on tripod, that is the reason why they figure out it's a vlog and it will go up on social media then again i'll be like uh, if they if no uh, camera is allowed they should write it somewhere and i'm like if you uh, say no no video or no capturing of anything in that place it will not be okay because that place is very expensive and anybody that comes to that place would like to document his or her experience or even take uh, pictures so i don't understand no filming uh, law but guys i want to know your opinion in the comment section before i let you guys know go i would like to tell you that the rice we bought 
Mary's brother said he did not enjoy it. No, not Mary's brother. Mary's brother did not tell us his experience, but Mary said he took it home. He, she did not enjoy it, that her children couldn't even eat it. Um, also, but me, the uh, shawarma that I took was very nice. That shawarma is one of the sweetest shawarma I have ever eaten. I'm a big fan of shawarma. However, some shawarma, they go just carry cabbage and... Uh, and cream full lamb but this particular shawarma was full of meat like everywhere around the shawarma is full of meat so i enjoyed it very very well apart from that shawarma i don't see anything why i enjoy for this month this is the reason why i say i'm not gonna go there again like i'm not going back there again but guys i want to know your opinion please tell me is it how they behave there or is it just that um that chinese woman or um asian woman asks who become the security to get, to come Ask the man to uh, let me de delete the video, or is it that the person, that um, Asian woman, is one of the owners of that uh, place or share owner of that place? I want to know your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And um, I think this will be the only uh, kind of sad uh, uh, or bad experience video I will make because honestly. Um, as I'm traveling around the world and going to countries, I don't want to document any sad experience or say anything in a video that will make, scare people away from the country or make people feel like the people of the country are not nice. Ghanaians are so very nice people. They are all very polite. Even as that guy was um, talking to me, he did not raise his voice at me. But huh? that didn't traumatize me, Sha. Okay, guys, please share this video with your friends and family. I want to know your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys in my next video. Guys, my next video that will come up tomorrow may be just a sit-down video, guys. I want to bomb blast you guys. But just wait for me because I'm coming. <laughs> After that team, we just head home. We wanted to go to a lot of places that day because I was enjoying my day. But after that thing, eh, I just be like, say, okay, make we we'll go we'll go back to the house. I just enter cab with Congo. Okay, guys.